They call him the How Man, a coach, teacher, mentor, and a friend who has never doubted that children with visual impairments can compete in sports that long have been denied them. That the only question that really matters is not can they, but how can they? All right, now sit and turn. There, you can go about that or die. He has a real understanding of visual impairments and he has a real patience. So when he's working with the kids, it, it just comes across that uh, he understands, he gets it, and he has a way of explaining it to the kids that everybody seems to understand, no matter what level that kid's at. In 1966, John a accepté a poste de professeur d'éducation physique et d'entraîneur de lutte à l'Ontario School for the Blind à Brantford, maintenant l'école W. Ross McDonald. Sa première tâche et sa première victoire étaient de convaincre les dirigeants sceptiques de l'école de laisser ses lutteurs concourir pour la première fois contre des enfants voyant des meilleures écoles dans la province. With wrestling, I was able to compete against sighted athletes. And once I started winning against those sighted athletes, it was a big turning point for me as a visually impaired person because I realized that I could compete on an equal playing field with sighted people. And at the time, it only seemed like in sport. But as I grew older, I realized, no, it actually applies to life. And, and those lessons were taught due to John's efforts. He would remain on the faculty at McDonald for more than 40 years, helping to give hundreds of track and field athletes, wrestlers, and other competitors with visual impairments the confidence and the certainty that they could compete on the world stage. In general, most coaches they just want to develop the next champion, and John just wanted to develop everyone's potential. And if that potential led you to becoming a champion, then that was a bonus. From the track at the London 2012 Paralympic Games, where he joyfully watched former student Jason Dunkerley win a silver medal in the 5,000 meters. Jason Dunkerley of Ottawa, Ontario. To the quiet classrooms of Brantford. No one has made more of a difference in the lives of Canadians with visual impairments than Hall of Famer John Howe. He is an inspiration for a lot of people. He's a positive role model and uh, just an overall good guy.